What's up, my Shady Bells? It's your favorite here, Dr. Tish, and welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so I know it's been a while since I've been on here talking about hair, and um, today is your lucky day. I'm going to be discussing shampoo. But before I get into it, make sure that you do me a favor and you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell next to it, comment, share, and thumbs up this video. Hmm. I had to get me a little sip. Oh, y'all probably wondering what I'm drinking. I got me a little Bacardi with cranberry juice. Yeah, y'all probably never heard that combination, right? <laughs> Usually it's like rum and coke, but I wanted a little cranberry. But anyway, um, happy new year, everybody. How's everybody's new year going? I hope that you guys are having a wonderful start to the new year. I know that I am. I spent the new year in New York City with my family. We had a wonderful time in church. And um, yeah, it was just family, church, and then back home. What did you guys do for New Year's? Leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know how did you spend your New Year's? Okay, so this conversation is a conversation that is definitely long overdue because baby, these social media hairstylists out here is crazy. <laughs> Can we bring back the old school stylists like myself? Can we bring us back? Can we bring us back? <laughs> what I wanted to talk about in terms of shampooing is how these new social media, IG in particular, Instagram, Insta famous hairstylists are out here charging clients to shampoo their hair in addition to the service or Better yet, they're telling them to come with clean hair. That's right. They're making them come with clean hair. If their hair ain't clean, they're not styling their hair. Something's wrong with that. Something is definitely wrong with that. But the crazy part of the crazier part about it is the fact that the clients are going for it. Since when the clients or since when was clients okay with going to the salon and having to go with clean hair? Yeah, since social media. Mm-hmm, that's when. I get so sick and tired of clients sending me messages in my DM asking me, does a shampoo come with a silk press? Wait, what? What do you mean does a shampoo come with a silk press? I'm an old school stylist, right? I've been in this game for 20 plus years and I wouldn't dream of having a client come into the salon with clean hair. I don't care what I'm doing with the hair. I don't care if I'm braiding it or if I'm doing a silk press. Because I know back in the days, even still, not I wouldn't even say back in the days, but even now still like when when people when clients go to the african braiding shop they normally don't shampoo their hair the, those are the only hairstylists that i could recall didn't shampoo clients hair but now you got these stylists that's doing all different like there there's stylists out there that's doing silk presses and they're requiring their clients to come with clean hair make it make sense it don't. Hmm. But anyway, in addition to me being a stylist, I also teach cosmetology. So I understand the importance of that first service, that first part of the service, I should say, being the shampoo. That is a very, very important part of the service. When I was in hair school, my instructor would always tell us that the shampoo is supposed to be the most relaxing part of the service, okay? And it takes the, to me, it takes that connection between the stylist and the client away when that stylist doesn't shampoo that client's hair. Because 
one thing about this business is that this is a business where we touch our clients. And when you touch your clients during a shampoo, it's a it's a it's a connection being made. It's a a feeling of trust. It's a feeling of comfort that that client is going to have after or during that shampoo. Clients want that and they need it. The other thing is I think that it is very unprofessional for a stylist to have a client come in with clean hair already or tell them that they're not going to shampoo their hair. That is very unprofessional because the first thing that you do when a client that you're supposed to do when you're servicing a client, specifically a new client, is a client consultation. And during that client consultation, you are doing a hair and scalp analysis. And during that hair and scalp analysis, you are going to be determining a lot of things with that client's hair. You're going to be asking a lot of questions about their history of what they do with their hair and so forth and so on. So how can you style a client's hair without knowing the history or the things that's going on with their hair? You're not checking to see what the density of their hair is. You're not checking the porosity of their hair. None of these things you're checking. So if you don't check those things, then you don't know what to do or what to use on that client's hair. These things are very important. Even after the client leaves your salon, once you know these things, you'll know what to tell your client to do with their hair once they leave the salon. These things are very important. They are, and they are very, very imperative that it be done. But unfortunately, we're living in a time where doing a shampoo on a client's hair has become a lost art. And I really, really think that it's terrible. I, like I said, I think it's very unprofessional and it takes away that connection and that safe space that you're creating for your client. Um, the other thing is just compare it to an artist, right? An artist that paints. If they're going to do a painting of you, are they going to do it on a dirty canvas? Or does the, is the canvas already clean and ready for the painting to take place? It's the same thing, right? I really would love for stylists to just start normalizing in 2024, shampooing their clients here, taking care of their clients here, not just styling it and sending them on their way, Clients want their hair to be taken care of, okay? So that things like alopecia can be prevented in the future. You know, if you're not taking care of your clients here, then you're not going to be able to prevent those type of things. It's time to get proactive when it comes to taking care and maintaining the health of your clients here in scalp, right? Personally, I don't think that most of those stylists that's doing it, doing this, making their clients shampoo their hair before they come to the salon, they don't have a license. I'm not saying all of them, but I do believe that most of them are not licensed because I can't for the world, for the life of me rather, see why a licensed cosmetologist would require her client to come to the salon with clean hair. It just doesn't make sense. In cosmetology school, that is one of the first services that is taught to the students. And that is a shampoo. How to properly drape the client and how to properly shampoo their hair and condition their hair. So there's no way in the world these stylists that's doing this, most of them, have a license. First of all, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to touch people 
We are the only profession, the beauty industry, outside of doctors who can touch people. We should take more pride in that and acknowledge the fact that it is an honor and a privilege to be able to touch people. Hmm. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to come on here and, you know, just give my thoughts and opinion on this topic because, like I said, this is a conversation that has been long overdue for me to have on my platform. I've been seeing people talk about this topic on TikTok. I've been seeing people talk about it on YouTube, on Instagram, different social media outlets. People have been talking about it. And I hope that more stylists like myself come out and talk about it more so that the stylists that that's doing this to clients or, you know, making clients shampoo their hair before they come to the salon, I'm hoping that they'll stop it. And if they don't have a license, I'm hoping that they'll go and get a license, whether it's a natural hair care license or a cosmetology license, whichever one, whichever one your state requires, you need to get it. Okay. Um, and I'm also hoping that clients stop going to stylists that that's making them come with clean hair. Because at the end of the day, believe it or not, a lot of stylists don't realize this or they don't care to realize it. But we need our clients. They don't need us. Without our clients, we won't have a business. Without our business, we won't make money. And without money, we can't pay our bills and sustain our lifestyle. Anyway, I can go on and on about this topic, but that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Tap the notification bell next to it. Comment, share, and thumbs up this video. And remember, hair is your glory. Peace.